death is not a good thing. I think pretty much everybody agrees with that. But there are certain advantages to it. And one of the advantages is that it gives us, it's a play on words, but a deadline. It lets us know that our life is like a package. And God has given us this free package, but to use it to the best of our ability. Also, the fact of the matter is, is that death is, per, is not permanent. There's going to be the raising of the dead. So we can say that a coffin is sort of like a waiting room until all the dead rise. That's what we believe. But there's a joke, and I would like to tell the joke. Once a man felt that he was about to die. He was 98 years old. He wanted someone to say a nice eulogy about him. So they say, you want someone to say a eulogy? You go to Shmerel, the eulogizer. He went to him, he said, listen, I feel old, I'm about to die. I want somebody to say a good eulogy for me. He says, no problem, $5,000, $500, $50. So what do you mean? He says, I have a eulogy for $5,000, a eulogy for $500, and a eulogy for $50, what do you want? He says, well, what do I get? What's the $5,000 one? What is it? What are... So $5,000, I say, at, at least 10 praises about you. And I keep praising until everybody cries. Now, what do I get for 500? He says, 500, I say, one or two praises. I keep praising until one person cries. He says, that's 500. What do I get for 50? He says, for 50, I say the truth. What do we want? That people should say nice things about us, that things should be made up about us. Should we have a life where we're trying to impress others? Or should we live with the truth? What is better? Well, for the eulogizer, all the praises are much better. He makes a better living. But for us, it's better that we should even save the $50 and make a life that's worth living. A life that's between us and the creator of the universe that we know that we did eternal things, true things, that we were true to ourselves. We were true to the creator of the universe that we had true love and true care. We loved the truth. That's one of the main points of Mashiach, is to enliven the world with truth. Until finally we believe, it's one of the 13 principles of faith, that all the dead will actually rise. I don't know if those people that were falsely eulogized will get their money back. I don't know if they'll need their money. But one thing for sure is that if we live lives that are true to the Creator, lives that are dynamic and happy, as then, for sure, life will be living, worth living, and every moment will be eternal life. That's why we need Mashiach now to make our lives meaningful every single instant.